Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Cupid NPC on the Lower Fell server and giving you my basic opinion on which of the 14 items I think are good and which ones you probably shouldn't get. Again, this is my opinion, so if you like something, definitely get it. To start off, we have to actually get these items. So heading over to spawn, clicking on the NPC, clicking on the nether star so that we're buying these with cash we're going to spend eight hundred and forty six thousand dollars if i was to get all of these items with l bucks it would cost me about one thousand three hundred l bucks which is super expensive so just get them with cash and then i'm also going to buy double of some items just because i think they really do look cool especially the lover fella neo light after buying a six of those the coolest thing about this is if i put it on my head it gives us an amazing little lover fella mustache, and I think that's the coolest part about this. Not to mention it also would look amazing in a gaming setup on the server. Now let's actually take a closer look at these items, starting off with the bouquet of flowers. So this item seems extremely overpriced for $70,000. You get a 3D flower pot, but then a flat bunch of roses. It seems kind of like not normal, although the roses do look incredible, so I guess if you put these in a corner, they'll look nice or like against a wall, but if they're in the middle of a room, it's gonna look so dumb. Then we have the Forever Flower. So this one, honestly, I don't think is too amazing, but at the same time, it's beautiful. A flower in a case, it's like can be used in so many different ways. I definitely see it being used a lot in like mansions, and this one's completely 3D, so this could be put in the middle of a room, and there probably wouldn't be much of a problem with that. After that, we have the Loving Cactus, which for $70,000 is definitely worth it, I think. The cactus is detailed. It has a nice flower pot. It has a nice flower up on the side. This can be used in sort of like a desert themed base, not really Valentine's Day. So if you have a desert themed base, I would definitely put some of these around. It's gonna add a little bit more detail. So the string of hearts is okay. It's not the best thing in the world, but I do like the color of the hearts on the string, how it has lines, it gives it a little bit more detail and texture. Although you do have to spend a lot of money to get enough of these to sort of put them up all around your base. It's gonna be really good for if you're trying to make like a lover fella hall of fame or something having these lining the top is gonna be great i don't really know what else to say the heart balloon though it's a little bit of a letdown there's really sharp corners on this balloon and if you put it in front of anything red it's gonna be hard to actually see it hopefully as you can see on screen this see-through just makes it really tricky to use so if you can find a use for this congratulations but i don't see it being used too often so in this NPC, there are two posters. The first one is the Valentine poster, and it has a nice pink heart on it. Again, this heart is super detailed, but I don't see it being used in everyday gaming or just build basing. It's really just for your Loverfella Hall of Fame sort of thing or just like collecting it. And then the other potion is the Propaganda poster, which has an X over the heart. And this heart's more of a red heart, so I think this could be pretty decent. Like, if you put this outside your base, it could be a little bit cooler. But again, same thing, it doesn't really fit into too many builds. But what we talked about earlier was the Loverfella Neo Light, which is the Loverfella logo that just changes colors. I think it looks amazing, and I can definitely see this being used in builds just in general, like putting it on your wall as a decoration. I would love to see a lot more Neo Lights. They could even do like a Neo Crate. I feel like that sounds really cool. Just like a bunch of Neo things with like glow in the dark and stuff like that. That could be really cool, so maybe that's an idea for you guys. But like I was saying, if you can put this on, it looks really nice. It's going to be a great thing to wear on your head. So I see this being a very promising item to have. So there's two types of hearts on strings. The first one is the broken heart of strings, which is going to be like hearts that are just broken. Uh, again, this isn't much of a use unless you're doing something themed around Valentine's Day. But if you are doing something themed around Valentine's Day, then I would definitely get this because it's going to add two different sort of themes to your build since the other heart on strings is full hearts. So it's not those broken ones. So you can sort of have it like interchanging to give it a little bit more detail. Then we have two consumable cookies in this crate. The first one is candy hearts, which is a classic Valentine's Day item or candy that you're gonna get. And I love how it looks. I can kind of see this being used in normal builds just as like candy, but you have to not think about it too much as like a Valentine's Day thing. If it had the words on it, I would say this could never be used in any other build, but just because it's the plain hearts, I think it's pretty nice. And then the other cookie is the heart sugar cookie. This is one of those items that just seems so weird. It's like 
like one block large. If you place this down on a table, I guess it would be good or like a centerpiece of like a cake. But just because of how big it is, I don't think it's too helpful and going to be worked into builds nice. But it does look really nice. So if you can find a way to use it, um, good on you. I would definitely use it. But now we have two potions. The first one is the love me potion, which is this sort of pink rod. This might have this might make them love me. So let's try this thing and nothing happens so it looks like it's going to be more of a decorative item to just place around although how tall it is when you place it doesn't seem like it's going to be working in that well with anything but uh yeah who knows then next we have the loneliness potion because we are all lonely on valentine's day so it's a nice purple look to it and the stopper on the top definitely a lot of detail this is one of my top 10 looking potions just because of the purple and i think it's going to add a lot of detail to your builds it's sort of just a creepy potion so let's try this thing out and nothing again so these potions are really just placeable so i don't know why they didn't just make them a placeable item but at least now we know that it was a waste of like a hundred thousand dollars to get both of them because i just drank them and they did nothing but i would have to say that my favorite item is definitely the loverfella neolite just because of the fact that i can put it on my head and i have a little loverfella mustache and it can be used in so many ways around your base and in like an amazing gaming setup this would be a great decoration on the wall but yeah guys let me know what your favorite valentine item was from the cupid npc if you did enjoy this video consider leaving a like consider subscribing and like always guys have a great day